This movie was everything I wanted Red Eye to be and more. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Nonstop from 2014. Now, I recently watched a movie called Red Eye and I wanted Red Eye to be this really engaging, almost beginning to end plane thriller movie. And it just really wasn't that for me. There was a lot of scenes before the plane. There was a lot of scenes after and a lot of stuff on the plane just wasn't as interesting and as intense as it could have been. So this movie was everything I wanted Red Eye to be and more. And I'll say right off the bat that this is probably my favorite intense mystery movie that takes place on a plane. There's probably not that many of them, but this is 100% my favorite one, I'm not gonna lie. So let's just jump into the pros. I guess that was already a pro. It is the best intense movie set on a plane because it just is. Like, name me another one. I'll be sure to check it out. I remember Flight Plan was good. I seen it a while ago. I don't think it would be as good as this one. On top of that, the mystery was pretty good. It kind of allows you to kind of think along with the character, with Liam Neeson, and try to figure things out and you kind of are thinking like, what can they really do? Because Liam Neeson is like an air marshal. There's two air marshals. Like when things kind of start picking up, like Liam Neeson will just look around the plane and like apparently this person's gonna kill somebody after a certain time period. So it's just like, how are they gonna pull this off? Because Liam Neeson's not doing anything dumb. He knows what's going on and things kind of progress. So it was really outside the box, kept me guessing and I was really never bored. The pacing was really good. I had really no issues with the pacing all the twists came pretty good i really liked that and then even there's a point where he's kind of seeming like the crazy person people are dying he can't explain it so it almost seems like liam neeson's gonna get blamed for everything because if people knew everything he was doing like he would probably just get arrested you know so he kind of has to break some laws really enjoyed this one a very good nail bitey thriller all right guys the cons really little to none the only cons i could think of and again i liked it for this reason but i could see someone else having a problem that it takes place 100% on a plane. So if you're somebody who wants to see some more scenery, you want to see it evolve, you know, and you think about, you know, how much it would cost to film at all these locations versus filming in a plane. They're obviously in a set, they're not in the air. So I could see it seeming cheap, but that's what this movie is. So I don't hold it against it. And then I wish that the villain was a little bit more grand. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot easier to set up a good mystery than it is to solve a good mystery. But to make it actually like really well thought out and good is very difficult. And I do think this was above average ending, but for just how good the mystery was up until this point, I wanted the ending to be a little bit better. But again, guys, I'm grasping at straws. I really, really enjoy this movie. And if I were to rate it, I'd probably give it an eight to an 8.5. And buy, try, or pass, like I would say probably a try for you, a solid buy for me because Again, it's the most intense movie I've seen on a plane. Let me know what you think of nonstop. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Help you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. They're watching and you want me Kyle. to leave. We need to drop altitude now.